Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to know the questions which came in UGC NET Environmental Science paper for the December 2021 and June 2022 paper. So this is memory based questions. That means the students, those who have appeared for the exam, they have given us the questions which are stored in their memory. So some of the questions may not be exactly asked in the question, but yes, there will be certain questions related to these questions which we are dealing here. So I am telling you that these are memory based question not the exact question. So let's discuss what were the questions and you have to comment me out of these many questions how many questions you were able to find it correctly. So without much delay let's get started. So the first questions which we will be dealing is the numericals. Yes very few numericals came in the net paper 2 of environmental science this year and one was the sulfur dioxide parts per billion that conversion thing which we have already done several times in our youtube channel as well as in our telegram group quizzes so here the question was sulfur dioxide concentration if you know the formula the formula is concentration is equal to parts per billion multiplied by the molecular weight of the compound here it is sulfur dioxide so sulfur dioxide molecular weight is how much it is 64 divided by 24.4 why 24.4 because it is given as 25 degrees celsius so where it will be given as 25 degrees celsius and one atmospheric pressure in that case we have to use 24.4 as the dividing factor otherwise for stp there is the different value no need to go about that so this question was asked those who have applied this formula they would have got the correct answer next one more numerical was there from the calculating the bod of the water and the formula is very chocolate question the do that is dissolved oxygen initial concentration minus dissolved oxygen final concentration divided by the p value that is the dilution factor so this formula those who have used they would have got the correct answer so now let's move to the next questions from the memory base this question was repeated so it came in 2021 also and here in 2022 also it was regarding Wangari Mathai who won the Nobel Peace Prize. He is from Kenya and she won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. And what she did is she founded the Green Belt Movement which is an environmental NGO that is non-governmental organization focusing on the plantation of trees, environmental conservation and women's rights. So as these things were related to environment, that's why this question came in paper 2. Some of you were telling that why this peace price is coming in the paper 2. It is because she fought for environment. She was from Kenya and Wangari Mathai is her name. Coming to the next question, Prerak Dor Samman. So this question was asking this Samman, this award is related to what? So this is as a part of Swach Survection, which was in 2021. According to Swach Survection, Prerak Dor Samman was given. Next thing was from the filtration unit, microfiltration, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration and reverse osmosis. So which is having the maximum pore size. So maximum will be microfiltration followed by the minimum will be the reverse osmosis and it will be decreasing order will be from microfiltration to ultrafiltration to nanofiltration to reverse osmosis. As you can see first suspended particles are removed with the help of microfiltration then selected macromolecules in the ultrafiltration. So this thing you should note down also because in next exam it will help you and nanofiltration multivalent salts and small solutes are removed and finally in reverse osmosis salts remaining salts are removed and we get the pure water. So this is the thing you have to remember Munro I already said M-U-N-R-O Munro so it is a New Zealand cricketer call in Munro so Munro means microfiltration, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration and reverse osmosis. So this is the decreasing order maximum will be for microfiltration and minimum for the reverse osmosis. Let's move to the next set of question. This question might have come in the statement form and it was related to the monoclimax theory and polyclimax theory. Poly means many. So in this thing climax means the end species in a succession. So succession may end may agar eki climax species hai, eki climax community hai, usse hum kahenge single climax community. If there are more than one or several climax community in a succession, we will call it as several climax community. So here one climate variable is there and here in polyclimax theory variable factors are there and this thing also you should note down monoclimax theory was given by Clements. Maybe this was also in the statement given and Tansley and Dobbenmere mostly Tansley gave the polyclimax theory. 
this thing you should note down also for the next examination or just for your general knowledge next is from the error error thing comes every time i already told you statistics part type 1 and type 2 error but this time it was a little bit tricky some people were telling that you have to identify the correct statement if you know the concept so concept is type 1 error when this type 1 error happens it happens when it is the hypothesis states thing when the null hypothesis is true but when we reject that null hypothesis it is called as type 1 error so it is often assimilated with false positives so this is about type 1 error and type 2 error when it happens when the null hypothesis is false but we fail to reject it that means we accept the null hypothesis when it is false that is showing the type 2 error in statistics so these two are the basic things if you know that if you would have selected the correct statement given for this question coming to the next set of questions yes this is also one of the frequent last questions very repeatedly asked the sand silt clay size either you have to arrange or you have to say which is the highest having the size of the particle sand sand the particle size ranges from 0.05 to 2 millimeter and then after that it comes silt that is from 0.002 millimeter to 0.05 millimeter and clay is the least one with the lesser than 0.002 millimeter particle size that will be the clay particle size so this was also asked in some or other form next was matching or it was given in the statement i hope it was in matching actually in natural landfilling no liner is used what is a liner so in landfill side when we give liner that means it is preventing the leachate to pass through the soil and contaminate the soil and water so when it is a natural landfilling no liner is used and when it is sanitary type bentonite clay or butyl rubber are used so bentonite is a clay thing and butyl rubber they are used in case of sanitary type of landfilling and natural landfilling mein hum koi liner use nahi karte let's move to the next questions yes nationally determined contribution that is ndc which properties were asked so it was related to paris agreement and indc we all know intended nationally determined contribution the question you should be knowing the concept that means according to the ndc properties india now stands committed to reduce emission intensity of its gdp by 45% by 2030 these things are important 45% reduction in the emission intensity by 2030 from the 2005 level so this statement would have given and next thing is achieve one more thing one more property achieve 50% cumulative electric power install capacity from the non fossil fuel based energy by 2030 so 2030 tak at least 50% hamara jo electricity power hai wo non fossil fuel based energy se humko extract karna hai these two are the important properties along with that the update is also a step towards achieving india's long term goal for reaching net zero emission by 2070 so these are the important properties under ndc and from here question came to find in the statements next was coefficient of variation we have to find simple thing put the value in the formula and get the answer what is the formula formula to find out the coefficient of variation is standard deviation divided by mu that is mean multiplied by 100 so those who have used this formula they would have got the answer and they will get the full mark next question yes this was a bit typical tricky kind of most of you will be not knowing hysteresis so what is hysteresis it is from the magnetic property and here it is a characterized by lag of magnetic flux so where magnetic flux density is lagging behind the magnetic field strength and all the ferromagnetic materials exhibit this phenomenon of hysteresis so this question was asked i don't know exactly what was asked but you should also know what is ferromagnetic substance ferromagnetic substance are those substance which are strongly attracted by the external magnetic field and this substance contain magnetic properties even if the external magnetic field is removed yes even if you are not giving the external magnetic field these substances have the magnetic properties and what are the best example of ferromagnetic substance they are iron and nickel so these things hysteresis came from the magnetic flux density which is lagging behind the magnetic field strength coming to the next thing find the nominal value from the levels of measurement scale three things are here i have missed the fourth one rainfall was given moderate high and height of trees was given blood group was given so rainfall moderate high these things are ordinal and height of trees is a continuous variable levels of measurement and blood group will come under the 
nominal level of measurement scale so blood group will be the correct answer next thing atmospheric layers were given you have to match with the correct phenomena for example ozone cloud formation which will be in the stratosphere and weather phenomena takes place in troposphere region of our atmosphere next moving on to the next question so this question was also not clear that the penal provision under the environment protection act so if it is given section 15 general offenses section 16 offenses by companies section 17 offenses by government department but most of you are telling that question was asking regarding the prevention of cruelty to animal act 1960 which will be section 16 will be the correct option next also one of the repeatedly asked question full form of lead lead means leadership in energy and environmental design which is the most widely used green building rating system in the world and what green building rating system we are using here it is griha which was asked in the last exam so leave it and next thing was matching with the correct dam or lake koleri lake will be matching with andhra pradesh which is located in there and pong dam which is also called as the beach dam which is located in himachal pradesh and similarly non parametric and parametric test very very simple chocolate thing which we have discussed several times chi square test is a non parametric test t test and f test are parametric test and one of the very very simplest question was protocol related to climate change is what it is kp 1997 kp means what kyoto protocol yes it is related to climate change this question was also asked let's go to the next set of question basalt rock consist of what basalt rock it consist of iron and magnesium silicates calcic plagioclase and pyroxene so mostly iron and magnesium composition for basalt rock next soil order we have to find the question was given histosol alfisol so this is the soil correct order you have to note down this order entisol followed by histosol inceptisol andisol gelisol gelisol was also asked alfisol molisol ultisol spodosols aridosols vertisols and last is oxisol so starting with entisol last is oxisol one more question was asked rivet popper hypothesis so this was proposed by paul elric so what he did is he explained how our ecosystem will be affected if one by one species are extinct so he explained with the help of an aeroplane let us example this is the aeroplane and here rivet are there rivet means let us assume they are screw so if one by one every passenger is removing one one screw from the plane it will not affect initially but if all the screws are removed then the plane will crash because all the parts will be damaged it will be coming out and whole plane will be gone so as this is the example that if one by one the species are extinct they are removed from the ecosystem then initially it will not affect but as a result at the end everything will collapse and ecosystem will collapse it will not function well so this is given by paul elric rivet popper hypothesis popper means you have to pop out one one rivet that means they are the screws let's move to the next set of questions next set yes coriolis force very very frequent last question again coriolis co force it was asked that what side the direction so in right hand side that is in northern hemisphere the surface of the earth movements of the objects deflect to the right hand side in the northern hemisphere because of the coriolis force and the objects on the surface of the earth are deflected to the left hand side in the southern hemisphere of our planet due to coriolis force next project proponent so who is a project proponent this question was asked i think a project proponent is the person that is responsible for carrying out a project and has the legal right to do so so he or she will be called as project proponent next is proponent of r and k selection that means who gave this thing so this was given by robert mac arthur and e o wilson in 1967 you should note down r selected species k selected species it was given by robert mac arthur and e o wilson they are the proponent next it was given match the following arsenate arsenite white lead and red lead with formula so arsenate formula aso3 minus arsenite formula that is as3 is o double bond aso3 minus and white lead formula is bit confusing it is pbco3 2 dot pboh2 and red lead is also called as minium or lead 2 4 oxide so its formula is pb3o4 so this was given in the match the following those who have done this thing they would have got the full marks coming to the next thing this is also very very frequently asked i have told you crushed mantle core every time you should know the composition it was asked earth's mantle composition so earth has an upper mantle and lower mantle upper mantle is partially melted and contains iron and silicon metal 
whereas lower mantle is completely molten contains iron magnesium silicon and oxygen are also present so this was question given mantle composition coming to the next set of question global radiation formula something was given so global radiation total is calculated as the sum of direct and diffuse radiation so direct diffusion plus diffused radiation it will give the global radiation and here one more thing in statement was also given related to the solar cell two elements used in fabricating solar cells are silicon and silver silicon most of the students are telling that the option will be silicon and also silver is also used in solar cells next was given which came first which was initially given whether environmental protection act wildlife act or forest conservation act so epa environmental protection act in 1986 wildlife act in 1972 forest conservation act in 1980 so as per this 1972 is the first one so wildlife act will be coming in the first next is section 278 in the indian penal code it deals with the pollution so according to this section the person who is making the atmosphere noxious or polluted has to be punished and they have to give the fine so this is accordingly section 278 i guess they were asking which section this is according to section 278 so these were some of the questions from the memory based of the students thanks again to each one of you those who have contributed to that and if you like this don't forget to like subscribe the channel and if you want the part 2 of this then you can comment me based on the responses i will tell you whether i am going to make the second part or not so till then keep smiling and believe in yourself